Rose and today I am going to be unboxing a few items from GBFKE and I'm pretty sure that one of them is not a diamond painting. So uh, let's check it out and see what I got. Alrighty, so here we have 860, 861, 862. This is the thing I thought might not be a diamond painting, but it is a diamond painting. And 863. So let's open them up in number order. So number 860, I think might be a rose prize. So let me check. Yes, number 860 is a rose prize for Celine. And she asked for this a while ago, and it just took a while for me to get to ordering it, and then to receive the order, and then finally to make this video. So it is a partial of a peacock. Uh, 30 by 40. It has 11 different colors, and they are all regular drills regular round drills. So I'm just gonna roll this back on itself. Oh, I like the feel of the canvas. It does feel nice. Not too stiff, not too floppy. It is a nice, perfect texture, really. Now this one here, uh, because it is a partial, if you were to, going to be framing this, I would say iron it before you start it. And to do that, you just turn it over on its back and you uh, iron with, I'd say, medium, low heat. Like, definitely don't go as high as cotton because there's plastic in this. But you could iron it like on a polyester setting. I use the wool setting on my iron and then crank it up just a tiny bit beyond wool. But if you don't have that, then use like the polyester setting. Um, okay, so there we go it is a pretty simple image uh not a lot of different colors but i think it might look pretty when it's done the only part that is uh, drilled is the peacock itself so what we get is a regular drill kit nothing special and we get the drills and let's measure to see what the drill area is well, not the drill area, the image area, because if you're going to do this, you might want to frame it. Uh, you would need a 10 inch across frame because it's just shy of 25 centimeters and it is 34 and a half centimeters. So that would be a 14 inch frame that you would need. Okay, then. So let's take a look at the canvas and the legend and the drill area. So it is an extremely simple legend, one to eight, and then A, C, and E. Uh, there should not be anything that's going to be confusing about this. And even though this is a partial, it is still a new style diamond painting, which is interesting. And as you see, it's extremely clear in terms of the symbols on the canvas. This is one that I'm going to send to my sister-in-law because she wants to start making diamond painting supplies, like accessories and things. And she's really creative. And um, she actually hasn't diamond painted. She's just watched me do my channel and stuff. And, uh, and so I, I told her, you know what, I'll send you a few kits do a few kits and um, and see what you think because working on a diamond painting will give you ideas about what you need um, in terms of accessories and you know like what uh, what would be the best so anyway so this I think will be good for her she's got a young son and she's looking after both of her parents who have cancer and uh, her disabled brother so she's busy and um, so she doesn't have time to do a great big diamond painting and uh, but you know a little one like this yeah she could probably knock that off in a few days in between everything else and uh, and so I'm sending her this and a few others in a little care package uh, probably later this week 
Okay, so um, I, think, I think it looks nice. Uh, let's take a look at the drills. Okay, so um, the code is 6329, and that's the code that's printed on here. We don't have DMC numbers, but that's okay. I don't care about that. And I'll just blow this up to 2x so you can see the quality of the drills better. Not that I'm expecting any issues, um, but just, just because. And I am not going to be adding anything extra to this video today. No viewer finish. Well, I don't know if I have any viewer finishes of GBFKE. Um, but uh, I, I won't even be checking to see if I have um, ugly diamond paintings or anything like that. Because today I'm doing my income taxes. And so I can't afford to be spending an extra hour editing my videos. So this is just going to be as simple a video as possible. But the diamond paintings really speak for themselves. So um, the fact that it's a you know a no frills video uh, doesn't detract from the diamond paintings. So I didn't realize that the new style made its way into partial diamond paintings, but now I know, and that's good to know. Okay, so this is number 860, Peacock, partial, 25 by 35, round drills, and um, 11 colors, looks good to me, and I'll find out from my sister-in-law what she thinks of uh, working on it. Okay, let's move on to number 861. Now, number 861 is also a rose tries, and this is one from my viewer, Leah, or Lily. Um, and she sent me this not too long ago, actually, and I just happened to be placing a GBFKE order, like, within a few days of her... Uh, of her asking me to do it and so it's like yep I'll do it so I call it uh, beauty I think that's what GBFKE calls it it's a 30 by 40 oh and it's new style yes it is all right I gotta fold it back on itself a little bit oh but there's no gaps of air in between the plastic and the uh, the diamond paintings like the canvas so it's, I don't have to uh, lift the plastic before I do this there we go and I'm just gonna do it a little bit more at the top there okay so now we have this perfectly flat beauty and let's just trim this little bit off here okay good enough all right so it is 30 by 40 and it's a very classical, well, sort of a very classically beautiful young woman. And um, she kind of reminds me of a Greek goddess, but a little fancier than a Greek goddess. You don't usually see them with flowers in their hair and so forth, but, um, but very pretty, very pretty. And it is 25 centimeters across and 34 centimeters up and down. And this is confetti heaven. There is really no color blocking on this. Um, yeah, there's no color blocking on this anywhere. It's confetti. It's all confetti, which is interesting. And it has 26 colors, which is pretty good. So we have a, a standard kit, which is fine. That's all we need. Um, I know it was 25. I can't remember if it was 35. I'm just going to remeasure. No, it's 34. Okay, 25 by 34. Okay. And there we go. Um, I like this. I think it looks really good. And Lily, I'd love to know what you think of it because I think this looks fantastic. This is one of the better ones that I've seen. Um, 
I think it's going to look pretty amazing when it's all done. Okay, let's take a look at the legend and the canvas. Let's just go up to 1x. So we have uh, some symbols that I don't usually like. We'll see what they look like on the canvas itself. Uh, so we've got the, the hashtag, the percent sign. Sometimes the, t the um, question mark can look like a two, but I don't think there are any numbers on that on this diamond painting, so that's not an issue. Uh, I don't see an ampersand, so I think it's just a question of the hashtag in terms of, you know, whether I'm going to be concerned about anything. Look how beautiful the printing is. This is great. And I haven't seen the hashtag yet. Oh, the percent sign's perfect. Just really excellent. This is one of the better printing jobs that I've seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really good. Still haven't seen the hashtag. Maybe you have. Yeah. I'm going along because, oh, did I just see it? Yeah, there it is. Look how clear that is. This is beautiful. Okay, this is an absolute win. Absolute win. Everything about this is, I would say, perfect. It's a nice canvas. The, the image, look at the image, it's beautiful. The shading is fantastic. The symbols are really clear. The only thing that could mess this up is if we see like a bunch of really bad drills, which I don't expect to have happen, but we're gonna check that right now. Yeah, I am really glad to see uh, 26 colors that's great and so we've got the second strip here and that has 21 to 26 so let's take a look at them all and we'll just go fairly quickly here I think you guys all know about the rose tries program so you know if you have stuff that you want me to try for you um, send me the link uh, and it has to be a link because um, it takes me too long to try and find stuff. And I just find that uh, since I started adding all kinds of photos and stuff to my videos, it just takes forever to make my videos and um, like to do the editing and stuff. And so um, I, I can't be spending time trying to find your diamond paintings you're going to have to send me the links. And I mentioned it in the video yesterday, but you can do a search on Google or in YouTube on how to send a link with my Android phone or my iPhone or my MacBook or my PC uh, by email. And it will uh, bring up all kinds of how-tos, videos, just you know uh, written instructions whatever and then you too will be able to send a link and all of the information about the rose tries program is down in the description to this video so i am not going to put it up on the screen because that also takes a lot of editing well it doesn't take a lot of editing time but it takes editing time and i i am doing self-employed taxes for the first time and let me tell you, it's not easy. Okay. Um, so those looked good to me. I have no issue with these drills. I think they're going to be just fine. And I think this diamond painting is going to look really, really good. So, uh, Lily, do please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think and whether you're going to go ahead and buy this 
Okay, so that is number 861, Beauty uh, 25 by 34 Round Drills GBFKE. Very, very nice. I must say, I'm very, very happy with the way this turned out. It turned out even better than I had hoped. Wow. Excellent. Okay, so the next one that we have uh, is, um, it's not a rose tries, but... Um, this is something that when I opened a Huacan diamond painting that came from, I think it might have been GBFKE uh, in a previous video, uh, I said it was the first time that I had opened uh, a diamond painting printed at the Huacan factory uh, from one of the stores that I've been working with. And um, so I got a, an email from uh, my viewer Pat from Edmonton and she said oh I just got one and you know she sent me pictures of the canvas and so forth and she said you know it's a hula can and I said oh great and I said I'm gonna try it because I want to try a bunch of these to see you know what kind of quality we get well Pat just recently sent me the finished image and so um, I will insert that one image in here. I did include it in a recent video as well, uh, but I'm gonna show it again because um, it's for this diamond painting. And so I wanna show you. So uh, Hua Can printed canvases do come with a nice kit. Uh, you get a lot of wax, you get the pen with the squishy. This one has a four placer and it looks like a nine placer. Uh, plus the metal tweezers and the boat with funnel. So it is a very, very nice kit. They also make kitting up your diamond painting super easy because they weigh all of the drills and put them in labeled Ziploc bags. So you don't have to do any kitting up at all. Um, and I did do... I did do a hua can recently. I'm trying to remember which one it was. Um, like done by this by this uh, printer and sold in one of the stores that I work with. It might have been from the GBFKE unboxing that I did before. Anyway, I don't know. I work on so many diamond paintings, you guys. I don't remember from you know one day to the next what I was working on or what I finished. Um, which is why I keep notes of all of the diamond paintings that I work on. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do a post-completion video that talked about what I thought about the diamond paintings because I wouldn't remember. So the thing about Hua Can is they always, uh, they always seal their diamond painting in uh, shrink wrap and they wrap it around a foam core, which just as a little tip, for those of you who uh, might have arthritis or something like that, I'm just gonna take uh, one of these other kits here. You can actually take your pink drill pen if you don't feel like you know spending money on a fancy, more expensive drill pen. Let's just take that out of there. And you, you cut this up into pieces as big as you want. You stick your drill pen into the hole in the center And then what you've got is a nice fat pen so that you don't have to be clutching. Now, again, I would, I would cut this off. There we go. Um, then you've got like a nice squishy, a big fat squishy that you can hold your pen. And you know, if you've got arthritis or you just get tired of clutching one of these skinny pink pens for too long, uh, these things are great to just give some ease to your fingers and you can make them as long or as short as you want and uh, and then and it's great so there's a little tip for you today okay so um, Hua Can factory also always 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 uh, puts their uh, like makes sure that their diamond paintings are not going to come undone by putting some um, just scotch tape. It's not scotch brand, but 
you know the tape I'm talking about, um, around it to hold it closed. All right. They do have nice feeling canvases and they include all kinds of information. I'm just going to blow this up a little bit. They include all kinds of information in their uh, legend. This is actually very, very thin, but that's okay. I don't care about that. Um, so you get, you get the image and then you get the code, the DMC number and the number of drills that you need to complete the diamond painting. That's important because on the bag, so here we have number 414, hold on, there we go, 414. And it says that this bag has 1,245 drills in it. Well, when I look at 414, I need 1,132 drills. So that tells me I've got way more drills than I'm gonna need to finish this diamond painting. Now, because Hua Can rolls their diamond painting so tightly, you have to be very careful when you unroll them. And they do come covered in paper as opposed to plastic. So for those of you who have never worked with a plas or with a paper covered diamond painting, you know how on the previous diamond painting, I took it and I rolled it back on itself? You can never do that with a paper covered diamond painting. You're gonna ruin the adhesive. Uh, so you have to just gently let it relax. Now the best way to do that is just to let it sit um, and, and just leave it. The other thing that sometimes I do is I'll take something that's bigger and I'll wrap it around that bigger thing because that'll also help it to uh, re release the, the roll, the curl. Um, and you might want to do that, leave it for a little while, not too long. It doesn't have to be a long, long time. But you just let it sit like this because that'll help it relax. The abs, I'm not going to actually let it sit because, you know, I got, I got things to do today. Um, but what you have to do to actually flatten it out is you very, very carefully peel back the paper. and then lay it back down and then peel back the paper lay it back down and just keep that up like I'm doing here okay so now this part is perfectly flat and then you do the same thing from the other side. And okay, the thing with paper covered diamond paintings, and I'm going to blow you way up so that you can see better here, is that where the paper ends, that's where the adhesive ends. So the adhesive on this actually extends quite a ways beyond the edge of the diamond painting. So you'd need to put some washi tape on there or there's another thing you can do and that's just like score the, um, the paper and, and the adhesive and then just scrape it all off because you can actually, you can actually pull off the adhesive. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video. Well, maybe I can. Okay. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. So I'll show you in a sec. So then you pull this back and you pull it back to where you pulled it before. You can feel because it releases super, super easily. Uh, and then there we go. Lay it back down. And same thing here. And then as soon as you have released all of the contact paper, look at that, your diamond painting, perfectly flat. The reason you have to be so, so careful is that this double-sided tape that they use will pull away from the canvas and leave what's called rivers of air 
in between the adhesive and the canvas if you're not careful or if you manhandle this thing. So let me show you what I was talking about in terms of uh, removing excess adhesive. So to do that, I'm just going to, I'm just going to use my scissors because I happen to have them here. And I just draw a line. Uh, no, not there. Hold on. So I'm just scoring the adhesive. Now, if I was doing this at my desk, I would have used a ruler and I would have made a nice, neat score. But then I just pull up the adhesive, the extra adhesive here. And I essentially just roll it off. There we go. It's gone. So there's no sticky anymore where I don't want sticky. And you know that because the contact paper now has nothing to stick to. There's the adhesive that I just removed. And it's that easy. Um, and so sometimes they have the same at the top. This one here doesn't have too, too much at the top, but I will be removing the excess adhesive there too, because uh, otherwise it's gonna get covered in lint. And because the adhesive strips come in standard sizes, like this is probably uh, like a three inch strip or a four inch strip, let's see probably like 10 centimeters. Yeah, it's, it's a 10 centimeter strip. So um, it extends a little bit beyond the edge of the diamond painting. So you might want to remove the, the little bit at the edge here or just use washi tape to cover it up. It, either, either one works really, really well. So I am now going to pull back this paper again so that I can show you the image on this diamond painting. And I want to make sure I'm not pulling it all the way off because it's very hard to put contact paper back on if you do pull it all the way off. And let's just zoom out again so you can see this whole thing. So I was very, very happy with the image that I saw from Pat in terms of, um, you know, what the canvas would look like. And because she did this and she sent me a picture of her canvas. Um, because one of the pictures that I looked at for one of the diamond paintings that I bought had a picture of the canvas on the website, but the picture of the canvas that they used was for a bigger canvas. So there was a lot more detail in it. Um, and the canvas that I got, because it was smaller than the image that they showed on the website, it did not have the same amount of detail. But this here is exactly what you're going to get with this. And I think if they do have a picture on the website, it is this picture. Uh, like it is a picture of this actual canvas. So it is a 40 by 30. And the other thing about Huacan is that their measurements are true to size. They, they measure the image area, not the canvas area. So I think this was probably advertised. I don't know if it was advertised as 35 by 45. Um, but it is, uh, it's going to be 30 by 40. And I think it's very pretty. I'm not going to measure it just yet. I'll measure it after because I don't want to cover it up and then uncover it again. But let's take a look at the legend. And then we'll take a look at the drill area close up. So... Uh, the symbol set is very, very easy to read. One thing about Huacan Diamond Paintings is they do use drill circles. Any of you who have been watching my channel for any amount of time know that I don't love drill circles, but it is what it is. So um, with Huacan, you get the drill circles. Um, I usually don't have trouble reading Huacan canvases. They do a really, really nice job of printing. And then you get the information down here about how many colors, 35 and 40 by 30. Oops. And um, so that's another thing about the diamond paintings that Huacan sells to stores like GBFKE. They have more colors than your average diamond painting, uh, which is nice because that gives you better detail for the amount, for the size of diamond painting that you're getting. Okay. Uh, it is, I can tell you it's a very sticky canvas for 
those of you who like to know that. Okay. Um, now, they've printed this sideways. So I'm going to show it to you sideways so that I'm not showing you the symbols um, sideways. So this, I'll actually be working on it upright, but um, but uh, they, they've printed it this way. So, and as you see, it's very, very clear. Like, I call that the, uh, the Trivial Pursuit piece, the Trivial Pursuit pie. And look how detailed it is. Even with all of those spokes from the wheel, it is so detailed. And then the yen sign. And I'm pretty sure they have a hashtag in here. Um, but, you know, like if you're going to get that kind of detail on the, the wheel or the Trivial Pursuit pie, you're going to get a nicely printed hashtag too. So, uh, and you see the percent sign? I mean, it looks like an X to me sometimes, but, um, but it is clear. It is beautifully clear. And that's just because I need glasses for close-up work or for small for small details. I always wear my glasses when I diamond paint. So that hashtag is nice and clear. It's very busy, but it's very clear. And everything on this canvas is very, very clear. Uh, this is not new style. This is pixel style, but because of the size and because of the number of colors, you actually get really good definition. Now, it would be better definition if it was done in the new style, but I don't think you can complain that, you know, this is not clear. I mean, those grasses look really, really good. Really, really good. Okay. Um, I think we've seen pretty much all of the symbols. But I'm, I'm happy with the way this is looking. Very, very happy with the way this is looking. And so we're just going to pull back again and look at it from a distance. I think that's really nice. And so I'm going to flash up here in a side-by-side -side the uh, finished diamond painting that Pat sent me. And you can take a look and see what you think. Okay, um, I'm going to put this away and I am going to now pull out the drills and we're going to look at drills. I'm also going to cover up the diamond painting because I have a cat and I have a dog and it's spring so they're both shedding and I want to protect my diamond painting as much as possible. There we go. Beautiful and flat. And I'm going to measure this now before we take a look at the drills. Uh, let's see. So it is 30 centimeters across and it is uh, 39 and just over a half. So it's 30 by 40. Okay, so there are uh, a couple of loose drills because one thing you have to check when you get one of these uh, who can diamond paintings is always make sure that the drill bags are properly sealed because sometimes uh, they're not. <laughs> And I recently had uh, one where um, it almost, like I almost spilled a scad of uh, 32, of um, three tens because the bag wasn't properly closed. And I think there were like thousands of three tens in the bag. So uh, just be careful about that. And really the only inventory you need to do is just to make sure that you've got all the bags that you're supposed to have. Um, 
Here I've got one that has a drill outside. Um, so I'm just checking, uh, putting them in order to make sure that I have all of the drills I should. Uh, is that that color? No, that's not that color. I don't think it's that color either. It might not even be from this kit. I'm not going to bother because I don't think it's even from this kit. So it was just something that was stuck with static electricity um, in the factory. Okay. So I'm going to do this quickly and I'll come back. Okay, so I have all the colors I need, uh, which is good. Um, I am not going to bother to make sure I got the right DMC numbers because I've never had uh, an issue from who I can of getting the wrong ones. So I'm just going to trust that this is all fine. Um, and now let's take a look at these drills. And I did find a few more loose ones, but again, if they are from this kit, there might be one that is. Yeah, this one is. The others, I am not going to try and figure out if they're from this kit or not. Okay. And I did find with the hoop can that I finished recently that the drills were really good. I mean, sometimes you get little pieces of trash like that but the drills themselves, they were fine. There was absolutely nothing of concern. So, um, what a pretty color. So yeah, I expect that this will be just fine too. And I'm not spending a lot of time because just enough to show you the colors and give you a sense of what it is you're getting. The worst problem that I see is some of them have little divots in the bottom. That doesn't bother me even a tiny bit. Uh, the only thing I care about is that the drills are not going to be too big or too small and that they don't have um, tabs and that they don't uh, have concave bottoms. I don't want concave bottoms. And we see a few little stowaways in some of these bags. That's fine. They get mixed up with uh, because of static electricity or just, you know, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. And yeah, these look, all look really good. So, it's nice to know that you're going to be getting uh, quality drills. I think the one I did, oh, I can't remember now. Jeez, I wish I could remember what it was that I did. Oh, well. And it wasn't that long ago. I'd say it was probably within the last month or so. Because I'm pretty sure I put it in my last post completion video. But I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. Oh well. Such is life.
Sorry, I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm thinking about my taxes. I have no idea how I'm going to report the YouTube income. There's not very much of it, but I have to report it because I know that Revenue Canada is cracking down on YouTubers who don't report income. And this is the first year I have really any income to report. So <laughs> it's like, all right, I want to do it and I want to do it right, but I have no clue how to do it. Oh, all right, there we go. All right, so that is it. The drills all looked fine to me. This is a great big humongous bag. I don't want to use that big of a bag, so I'm going to get something smaller. Okay, so this is it. Uh, this is the uh, White Swans from Hua Can, number 862. It's a true 30 by 40 round, uh, 35 different colors. And even though I say it's from Hua Can, I got it at GBFKE. So um, everything about this looks really, really good. And I'm very happy with what I see and with the finished product that I saw from Pat. So that's good. Okay, so the last diamond painting that I have for you today, number 863, is uh, one that is seasonal and I ordered this before Easter. Uh, and I'd say it's probably sort of an Easter theme, but it's also a spring theme. And it's spring until June 20th. So I am considering that it's still well within the season. Uh, and I call this one Easter Bunnies. Oh, and it is, oh my God, it is absolutely gorgeous is what it is <gasps> wow it is new style and it is absolutely stunning holy smokes i absolutely adore it wow i I'm super happy with this. So this is a 50 by 40 canvas. And I couldn't care less <laughs> if it was an Easter, an Easter theme because this is gorgeous. So pretty. I love daffodils. I love tulips. I love chicks. I love bunnies. There is everything to love about this. I am right now just uber happy. How cute is that? Oh man. Uh, it has 24 colors, which is a good number of colors. And holy smokes, I absolutely adore the way this looks. I just have to sit here and enjoy it for a minute because I was surprised by how much I like it. Ooh. Oh, it's just excellent. Oh, and I didn't notice before, there's these little Easter eggs down at the bottom, which is super cute. All right, let's measure it first. I'm so happy right now. All right, uh, so it is 44. That's 45 across. And it is uh, 35 up and down. So that's a good size. They are round drills. Goodness, this is just so pretty <gasps> so pretty okay let's see what kind of kit comes with it it comes with an absolutely standard kit that's fine happy with that let's take a look at the legend and the drill area
phone is really hot. Okay, so let's take a look here. I like the fact that they have DMC numbers on the canvas. That is a very, very simple symbol set. And let's take a look at how it translates onto the canvas. Uh, it translates very, very well. Like some, sometimes the G's look a little bit dark and hard to read, but that's so far the only thing. And it's not like it's illegible. And with a light pad, this would be super easy to read. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, if I could make any suggestion at all, it would be that the G's be printed in white, but um, that's okay. I'm not going to confuse them with anything else. That's for sure. Look at the beautiful detail on the leaves that you get. That's exquisite. Just beautiful. Yeah, no, everything is extremely clear. I love this. Gorgeous. Yeah, really, really nice. And the colors are just so spring-like and happy and fresh. Oh, what a delight this is. Look at it from a distance. This is going to be amazing when it's finished. Absolutely amazing. Gorgeous. Love it. All right, let's now take a look at the drills. All right, so we need 24 colors and here are 24 colors. And let's take a look at them. Ooh, 38 or 30, um, 3756, one of my favorites. And lots of it. That's going to make this very, very bright and happy. And... Oh, I'm not in 2x. Oh, well. The drills look beautiful. I mean, they look beautiful colors, of course, but they also appear to be very, very good quality. Nice and flat on the bottom. Look how beautifully flat those are. Oh, wow. Hardly any divots even, which I don't care about divots, but uh, these are so flat. Just perfect. This, I mean, there were, there are four great diamond paintings in this kit, but I got to say that this one here delights my heart. It is just fantastic. Wow. Look at that pretty soft yellow. Oh, so, so nice. Oh, Pippi heard a dog barking outside. She's going to start. Uh, the drills look fantastic and everything about this kit looks fantastic so I'm just gonna put the drills away and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna wrap up okay so uh, this was number 863 Easter bunnies 45 by 35 round drills 24 colors done in the new style absolutely my favorite diamond painting that I opened today I love it so much I can't even tell you and we also opened 
number 862, white swans, also round. Uh, it's a true 30 by 40 round drills, printed at the Hula Can Factory. Very good. I'm happy with it as well. And then we have a Rose Tries, number 861, uh, Beauty. Uh, this was a Rose Tries for Lily. It's 25 by 34, round drills, done in the new style. No color blocking on this. And I think it looks fantastic. Really, really happy with this myself. Lily, I'd love to know what you think. And finally, we have number 860, Peacock. It's a partial, another Rose Tries. This one is for Celine. And um, I think it's very pretty. Uh, it's round drills, not special shapes, not crystal, just round shapes. But I think it's very pretty and I think it's going to look nice. Um, and it's lovely to have the detail of the branches and the butterflies and the blossoms um, printed on the canvas so that you see them in all their magnificent detail. I like it. It's very pretty. Uh, I would say all four of these are big winners. Um, there was nothing I saw today that I didn't like in any way. Uh, everything makes me happy, especially this last one. Oh my goodness, I could look at that all day. I swear, I could look at that all day. Okay, everybody, so that's it. I would like to thank Allie from GBFKE for sending me these fantastic diamond paintings. And thanks to Lily and Celine for sending me the Rose Tries request and to Pat for putting me on to the White Swans because that was one I hadn't seen and it was her email that um, made me um, aware that it was available and I wanted to try it out. I'm not usually a Swans person, but I kind of like this one for some reason. There you go. Uh, I, I gotta say, I found the Easter bunnies all by myself. So, um, there you go. That's it. I want to thank my subscribers and my viewers. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And uh, I want to thank my patrons, old and new, uh, for your generous donations that support my channel. Uh, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click like. Don't forget to click for notifications. Leave me a comment down below. You know I love your comments. And uh, come back and visit with me again tomorrow. Okay? So, I love you all. Bye-bye for now.